real quick, here's a mouse trap that we had before. Uh, I showed you how to assemble it. I'm going to do the same thing really quick. You know, if you use a needle nose, it works very easily. Parts that you don't need, we're just going to get rid of. Okay, that you can roll out. This guy, there's a little whoop whoop there. Let's get rid of that. We can get rid of this cat. We want this guy. We want three eighths of it. So I'm going to cut it off with my cutters, and you'll see the cutter on, cutters on there. And I'm going to cut off three eighths. You measure it. I know what it is. So I got this little three eighth inch pin. All right, that little three eighth inch pin. And you know what? There's probably three more on there. But anyway, that little three eighth inch pin. I'm going to use for my front axle. All right, I'm going to drill a hole in there with my 16 inch drill bit, which I don't know where it goes right now, so I'm not going to drill that yet. And then I'm going to stick that pin in it. Uh, let's go back to this cat. I think that here's the key to this guy again. Hold the spring down while you're taking us apart. You don't want to loosen up those U nails. Okay? So you can see the end where it's bent in the U. And just like I showed you before, anytime you do work, you know what? My car is rolling away. So this is what I'm going to do. Anytime I set this guy on the table, I don't want it rolling off the table and breaking on the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage the brakes. So now the brakes are engaged, now it won't roll anywhere. Does that make sense? If you don't want it to break, don't put it somewhere where you think it's going to break. All right, back to this cap. Uh, as I showed you before, hold the spring down. We don't want to loosen up those U-nails. I'm just going to rock that guy open. Now it's loose, and now I can open it up. So that was just bent around, actually around itself. Straighten that cat out. Looks pretty straight. And I want to close up this U because we're putting a string on there. I'm going to open it up and then close it up. I'm putting a string on there. Okay. So this guy goes on like this. I like to aim this right at the center of my axle here. So that's where I like to aim it. Okay, so this cat obviously is your potential energy. All right, we want it pointing back here. We're gonna work it to the back. I like to look at where this ends up. And quite honestly, I like that, right where that guy's at. Probably behind this just a little tiny bit. It's gonna end up there. This is where I like it. I'm gonna throw a little hot glue on it. I'm marking it. That's where it goes. And honestly, right here in the middle, I can put a little all mark in there. And then that's where I take my little drill. You don't have to go all the way through. Actually, I was trying not to go all the way through. But then that's where we take our little pin. You might want to put a little hot glue on it if you want to do that. And there's our pin for our string. Uh, this cat, I'm just going to throw a little hot glue on it. I'm not going to go crazy. Uh, probably like a bead here and a bead here. Only thing I'm missing at this point is a string.